and hello YouTube, this is GS Man of Smart, and I'm going to start with a brand new video for tutorials of GS. Now today's tutorial is going to be revolving around the GIMP, the free image editing software, and most of you who have this program will probably notice that you have the uh, white gray version of this program. And, you know, a lot of people have been asking me in my videos that I've made for quite some time now, you know, how I get the black and dark version. So this is the version that I usually use, as you can see, it's a completely different theme. And I'm going to be teaching you how to get this specific theme, since it's been a very popular requested video, so I'm going to be showing you how to do it today. So basically what you need is a theme pack. This theme pack includes 15 themes, and one of these themes is the dark slash black version of GIMP. Now how do you get this theme pack? I have a link in the description right now, and this link will lead you to my lot to my Dropbox go ahead and download that zip folder from my Dropbox and you'll basically have the themes now when you have the themes go ahead and navigate to your downloads folder and it should be right here now when you have it here go ahead and double click it go inside of it and just copy everything here highlight and copy then go to your C drive then go to program files then go to GIMP2 then go to share then go to ooh, GIMP, go to 2.0, and then go to Themes. Now in here, you'll probably have nothing in here. You might have one folder or so, but most of it, most of this is not going to be in here. So what you want to do is right click and paste. And this will put all the folders that were in that theme folder, it will put them in this folder. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have everything here. And it may mess up my preferences, so just paste it in this folder. Just right click and paste. And depending on how fast your computer is, it might take a few minutes, it may take a few seconds. So, after you have it all pasted in here, you go and close this. And you're going to have to close GIMP as well. If you haven't had it open yet, then you don't need to close it. Just start it up. Now we go inside, go up to Edit. Go down to Preferences. Now in here, you can basically edit everything about your game program you can change the way it looks change the way it functions you know all the options are here but we're gonna look at themes right here and when you know this when you click themes and after you put the folders in the correct spot you have all these themes here now there's, a, there's a bunch of different themes some of them look really cool some of them don't look that awesome but you know you can look through them and see which one you like but if you're here for the dark and the, the dark slash black version it's called tactile so all you gotta do is click tactile then click OK and then you have to restart GIMP once more and as you can see at the bottom the loading bar has already turned black and there you go now you have the dark version of GIMP and pretty easy pretty straightforward just download the folder put it into the themes folder within your program files GIMP share GIMP 2.0 themes directory and then restart GIMP go to preferences go to themes click tactile okay close restart game and it should look like this so pretty easy hopefully you guys understood the steps if you have any questions if you run into any problems leave it in the comments below and enjoy your new version of gimp thank you for watching and i hope this video helped you out in any way if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it'll really help me out if you didn't like it you can leave a comment as well giving some feedback if you have any other comments or questions please leave them in the comments as well and i'll do my best to answer them i usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy i am i have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how to videos so if you're interested in that type of stuff check it out and if you like what you're seeing you can subscribe too really appreciate it you can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone, and this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.